Customer Portal A customer portal in QuintaDB is a great way for any company or organization to allow its customers or users to log into their dedicated internal web system and access restricted data with different access level rules. Your clients can log into your dedicated web portal, access models, tables, forms, reports, charts, maps or calendars, share to them, and most importantly, view and modify only those records which they submitted. In this video, you'll learn exactly how to create and set up customer portal. For example, we use the restaurant database. Go to the portals model. Press Create new portal tile. The task is to create a portal for customers, so they can see the restaurant menu, calendar, and fill out a feedback form. Also, I will give an access to the restaurant staff to fill and edit the portal content. Once portal created, you have to decide which models will be available for customers. Forms, tables, reports, charts, maps, calendars and files. Choose only those which you want to share. Once you activated some models, you'll see new tabs available. Settings and integration. On the integration tab, you'll be able to get iframe or JavaScript code to integrate the whole portal as widget on your own web page. Also, you can use direct link to share it with customers only. On the settings tab, you can choose authentication fields, upload logo to portal, select portals language, change list or tile view for models. Choose which authentication type to use on portal. No authentication. Any web user will be able to access it. Basic HTTP authentication. Set one pair of login and password to password protect portal. Sign in required. User should be registered in portal in order to be able to log in and access it. You can disable registration on portal if you want. This will only manually edit users will be able to sign in and use portal. But let's keep it now. Here you can choose which fields to use on login and registration form. And also you can rename them. Here you can select sign up form fields and login form fields. Company or organization field can be a drop down if you enter a predefined company's list. You can disable this field and instead enable one or all of the logging, email and phone fields. For sign-up form, also address fields available such as street address, city, state and zip code. At least one authorization field should be enabled in order to use login or sign-up forms. If you'll decide to go with sign-up required authentication, you'll see such pages. Logging page, sign-up page, and restore password page. On the notification tab, you can edit your activation and reset password email and SMS templates. And also, you can enable email and SMS notifications about new registrations on your portal. On the Users and Permissions tab, you can view your users group, delete them, and add new users by clicking on Add users to portal button. Or you can add new group using users group. It will not be necessary to assign access rights for new users each time. It will be enough to add them to the group with the established rights. On the Add new group page, you can choose user's role. It can be read only, read and write, read, write and delete records. You can select which features will be available for users, such as grouping, search, edit records, print, clone, and data export. The most important option is access to only own records. Users will only see records added by themselves, otherwise customers will be able to see all table records. Now you can add users to this group. Click on the users group tile and click on the Add Users to the Group tile on the next page. 
In order to add users, just add their emails or login, one per line. You can send email invites and edit invite emails template if you want. Same way, you can add user with custom access rights. Once you've added user, you can find a user's not in any group tile on the user's group page. Please notice that the user's password is matches with the email or login by default. You can edit portal user's account in the group. You can change password, enter name, contacts and upload avatar on the user's account page. You can set the default permissions for new user. On the next page, you can edit default permissions for all models. This way you can control access level for newly registered portal users. You can select which features will be available for new register users in the enabled models, such as grouping, search, edit records, print, clone and data export. Default permissions can be also set per table or report. Notice that you can also control field level access. Set which field will be disabled on the form and table. Also, you can modify permissions and access rights for users group. Just open the user group and press on the settings button. On this page, you can edit tables and reports permissions for the group. Click on edit icon. Click on the Field Bevel Access link in order to control which fields users will see on the form while adding records, and which columns user will see while viewing table or reports. Now let's test a portal like a logged in user form staff group. If your portal authentication type is sign in required, logged in user will see menu at the top right where he can access his account page to modify his personal information like login, password, name, email, company, upload avatar and lead account. Logged in portal users will see data in the same way as usual users seeing on the records page. Portal users will be able to export data to PDF and Excel, perform sorting, pagination, search and grouping, and also edit and delete records if allowed by permission settings. Now I'll try to sign up as customer. As you see, the default permissions for all models works fine. If your authentication type is no authentication or basic HTTP authentication, your web user do not need account page. Also, such web users will see portal models as widgets. I'm sure that customer portal will give you unique experience and great opportunities for your business. Just try it. Subscribe and follow up. More information on quintadb.com.